Yusuf Rugarama, who is believed to have been between 11 and 12 years, is one of those who were killed for professing Christianity in the 1880s. Rugarama affirmed Protestantism. Details about this matter are scanty. We have to rely on literature and historians who understand this brave young man. Among the 45 martyrs, there is one who has his roots in Ankole, and that's Yusuf Rugarama. I'm here to find out more about this matter. <laughs> Professor Joshua Muvumba tells NTV that Yusuf Rugarama was a Muhororo from Mpororo, which covers districts in the boundary areas between Ankole and Chigezi subregions in southwestern Uganda. Uh, he belongs to the Benet Hornwa clan the most powerful clan in Imperoro. But uh, you know, the society in Imperoro was uh, uh, fragmented and uh, most of the time uh, these clans were uh, fighting each other, but they su survived until uh, the British came. Well, it is believed that he came from Burunga, Burunga which is part of uh, North Ankole, to the current North Ankole diocese. Rugarama is believed to have been captured by Baganda chiefs as a prisoner of war alongside Aloni Mohinda during Kabaka Mutesa the first commanded raids of Ankole in the 1870s. He concentrated on looting Mpororo and that's how he captured both Rugarama and uh, Mohinda. These were very small children. They never took men they, because the men of Ankole could not be slaves. They could not accept that uh, they were useless. Uh, so they, they, but they took uh, baby, young men. Most chiefs were already Christians. The captives worked as pages in the palace, and after the death of Kabaka Mutesa in 1884, they were handed over to missionaries for custody and got baptized around 1885. Uh, Rugarama fell into the hands of uh, Reverend Robert. Ash. So he used, he taught him and he was baptized and uh, he was uh, like his uh, servant. He was the youngest uh, among those uh, pages uh, uh, who were killed. And on one occasion, on their way to see their master off to England, they were intercepted. That would transcend into their death. These boys were arrested at Munyonyo and uh, brought being flogged. And of course the missionary, uh, Reverend Ash, came back with them to beg for their release. But uh, uh, he did not succeed. It was interpreted that he was taking them to England. And that was the, reason, the only reason. Otherwise they wouldn't have been in the limelight to be killed. There were many, many Christians who were not killed. Muvumba says the circumstances leading to their martyrdom was found by provocation of singing Christian hymns and their persistent profession of Christianity. And it is said that the youngest among them, Rugarama, was the key encourager of professing Christianity. There were three kids, young men, Marco Kakumba, Yusuf Rugarama, and Nua uh, Serwanga. And they were the first martyrs to be killed. It is inspiring for any Christian to look at it and say, wow, the faith we have, it can be a lived faith. It is not ceremonial. The Anglican church leaders, in Ankole especially, have nothing to show in their archives about this matter, not even in the museum adjacent to the main cathedral and diocese offices. This despite Yusuf Rugarama being the only matter from Ankole subregion. Edward Muhumza, NTV. <laughs>